Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So Valentine's Day is in a couple of days and while I am not a fan of Valentine's Day, I think it's a made up holiday, I do think this might be a fun opportunity to use some illustrations of real hearts in a collage today. So I've been collecting some, collecting is maybe not the right word, sounds a little bit weird. I've been noticing when there is an illustration of a heart in one of my books and I've been, I pulled out a few of them that maybe we can start with today. Now, I don't think this is going to be a gross collage, but if you are not a fan of this, these types of images, feel free to skip this video. I totally understand, that's fine with me. I just feel like this might be a fun twist on Valentine's Day. Let's not use some cutesy hearts, let's use some real hearts. And I don't know, it might just be a fun thing to do. So let's jump into this and see what we can make. So I pulled out every heart illustration that I had in my collection. So there's that one this one and then I have a couple that I had already cut out and so they're just on pieces of paper and what I like about these is the red and blue veins plus the shape of the heart I don't actually like what's going on inside the image that's the part we're going to cut out and replace with a different image and that will sort of be I think the look of the collage so my first thought on what to put in here is some sort of home scene maybe a living room or a bedroom kind of play on that idea of home is where the heart is that was my first instinct Maybe we'll do that, maybe we won't. Maybe we could do a few different ones because I do have about four heart images. But I think first step is let's get these cut out and then I'll start looking for what we could put inside and make these, I don't know, maybe a little less creepy, maybe a little more cute. I don't know, let's see what we can do. So my first thought was to look in this collectibles book because I know there's some doll houses in here and some of them have cute little scenes that could be sort of maybe uh, homey or sort of like a living room. So let's flip through this real quick. Okay, a lot of outside of houses. Okay. Okay, so here's a bedroom that you know, maybe it could look homely. Here's a living room. Maybe if you, you know, got just this chair part in the middle, maybe. The photo's not great. It's sort of hard to tell what that is. Okay, this kitchen is maybe a little bit too big. Okay, maybe those won't work, but I don't know, that bedroom was kind of nice. I don't know, I gotta keep looking. All right, here's my plan for the hearts. I want to have, I think, three different themes. I want to do one heart with that uh, home idea that I was talking about. Some sort of, you know, home is where the heart is. So I found a few images we could use for a home. There's this one, with this couple watching TV. And then I did pull one out from the dollhouses. I think maybe if we took this cross section of these four rooms, it might kind of be an interesting concept because it's showing more of the house and it also is sort of playing on the parts of the heart maybe. 
So I thought maybe one of those could work. The next theme I was thinking was some sort of nice landscape. So I found two with some nice sunset scenes and maybe one of these would work. And then the last thing I was thinking was maybe doing a uh, sort of cutesy couple thing. And so have it more be, you know, lovey-dovey. So there's this couple who are sitting on these stairs. There's this couple. Oh, this was a landscape, I forgot. <laughs> this is a beach landscape, which might be fun for the landscape one. Forgot about that one. And then the last couple I have is these people who are eating dinner out at a restaurant. I think that some of these images are probably gonna work better than others. I also have to figure out which size heart. Um, you know, probably this one with the smallest one probably doesn't make sense because we wanna have as much of the room as we can. So here are the pairings that I've landed on. I like this couple on the stairs. I like that the woman's looking back at the guy. And I think they're small enough to fit within this heart. And I think we can, you know, not use the TV because I think that's a little bit weird. But I think that this pairing will work. The other one, I think that I like this beach scene. I like that because this one's sort of longer. We can fit a lot of the scene. You know, we can fit grass, sand, and water, and the sky all in this heart. I think that that might work well. I will say this heart is one where the line between where the heart ends and where the veins begin is not super clear. I'm still not entirely sure where I'm gonna cut um, here, but you know, we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. It is gonna be nice if we're going from blue sky to blue vein. So that, um, that might work in our favor. And the last one is this largest heart, which I'm still a little torn. I haven't decided. I think we could use this house image or this house image. I kind of like them both. So I think I'm gonna try both of them and see which one we like better. But those are the final pairings I've decided on. Let's start cutting these out and see what they're looking like. Wow, this is working better than I originally thought it might. I was a little bit worried it wasn't gonna read like a heart, but I think that this is looking pretty good. I'm now really excited to work on the other two. So let's move on to those. So here's the second heart with the beach scene. I do think if I cut some of these areas where the heart and the beach scene interact and then slightly overlap some areas, at least make it look like it's overlapping, I think that might help this. This area up here is a little bit weird, but I think with some finessing, I can make this look a little bit better. I do think having the blue sky into the blue vein is helping. This part down here is obviously very awkward, but I do think if I cut a little bit of the background and overlap it, that will help it. But um, overall, I think that it's working really well. We have one left, so let's see what that one looks like.
So here's the third heart with the dollhouse. I am a little bit shocked at how well this is working. I was not sure that this image was going to work. I will say there are a few awkward spots. I wanted to prioritize up here because of these two groups of people. I wanted to make sure they weren't being covered up. So there is a little bit of white down here at the, where the image ended, but I think I can just re kind of shape the bottom of the heart and that will be fine. Also, whatever's happening over here, I think it's just the edge of the dollhouse. This is a little bit awkward, but I think it's not a deal breaker. I was going to compare this image with this uh, living room and see which one I liked better. But I like this dollhouse so much. I like that the heart is divided into four areas. You can tell it's sort of a house. I'm liking what's happening in this one. So I think I'm gonna stop here and keep this background and not even look at the other living room. So what's next? I think these are looking pretty great. But, you know, I'm not entirely sure if I should just keep these on white pieces of paper or do some sort of background. I don't want to clutter anything, but maybe it's a little bit boring if they're just the hearts on the white background. I'm not entirely sure with that. I need to fully decide. I need to clean up and finalize all the edges and we need to glue these together. So let's get these wrapped up. Here are the three heart collages we made today. They're just so cute and much more my speed when it comes to Valentine's Day. No cartoon hearts. We got some real hearts. I did glue these to cardstock and then cut them out again. I just thought they looked a little cooler like this. I also am not exactly sure what I want to do with them. I think if you were to do this at home and you wanted to put, you know, your own photo inside of a heart, you could then glue this to the front of a card and that would be really nice. I was also thinking you could take a map from a place that is significant to you and your Valentine and put that in there instead of a photo. I think that's another cute idea. I don't know, there's a lot of potential and I really think that these turned out kind of cool. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you next Thursday for another collage video. Bye.